Culture Warrior segment tonight, there is a difference between liberal Americans and the far left. Liberal people tend to want the government to solve problems to make the country a more humane place. But far left Americans often don't like the country. And these people have infiltrated the media to a great extent. Here's an example of what was said about Independence Day on NBC's cable arm. The land on which they formed this union was stolen. The hands with which they built this nation were enslaved. The women who birthed the citizens of the nation are second class. But all of this is our story. Each of us benefits from the residuals of oppression, and each of us is harmed by the realities of inequality. I think we all should move to Peru, you know? Joining us <laughs> now from Stanford, Connecticut, Gretchen Carlson, Janine Pirro off this evening. First of all, every nation on this earth has in their historical background atrocities. Everyone. It's the human condition. I exactly. assume you disagree with that woman, but historically, she's not wrong. She's not wrong historically, and I believe that all of our kids who come up through school, you were a history teacher yourself, we should all learn all of the lessons about the Indians and slavery and inequality and women's right to vote, etc. But you know what, Bill? On the 4th of July, do you think any American really wants to hear about the negatives of this country? Or do they want to well, celebrate? Well, the people who watch that network do. I don't they, know. They, oh, yeah, they do. No, Carson, this is where you're going wrong. The far left in America, which is entirely what watches that, they hate the country. Well, they they want to break it down and build up a totally new America. Even on the 4th America. of July? Yeah. Even on the 4th of July? On Christmas, on Halloween, on any day. Okay, well, this is the only public holiday in our country where we actually celebrate America. So you would think for one day, no. we could talk about the wonderful things no. that this country offers, the American dream, happen. and why millions of people want to come Look, here every year be to become a, a citizen. That would be like asking far left people on one day of the year to celebrate Bill O'Reilly, to <laughs> tell everybody how great Bill America, really Bill is. O'Reilly. The other days they could just pound. It's never going to happen. <laughs> Now, this is what she went on to say. Uh, I, I, we couldn't run the whole clip. She went on to say, on the 4th of July, I'm going to think of Rikers Island graduates. This, these are prisoners. And I'm going to wave a flag without hesitation, not because I've forgotten my nation's many wrongs, but because I remember them. I'm nonetheless proud of my country, not for its perfection, because the alternative is too grim. The alternative is to give up on the dream of the nation founded in the belief, if not the practice, that we're all created equal. Okay, so, I mean, that's just a dodge, because she knew she was going to be held to account by someone for the anti-American diatribe on the 4th of July. However... Yeah, but what, what does prisoners getting GEDs have to do with the 4th nothing. of July? She's just nothing. trying to, to pettifog the issue. What percentage of Americans would you say despise their country? There are some on the right who despise their country as well. I have no idea, Bill. No? I, I'd I say it's, it's about 15%. Really? 15%? I would say so. Y you know what? On the 4th of July, I was focused on being with people that I love. My family, my friends, my children. And you know, the lessons of patriotism that I hope that I'm teaching my kids are that they are darn lucky to live in this great country of ours. And if they work hard, they too can achieve the American dream. And we should be thankful for all the people who have served this nation in whatever capacity from the military and beyond. All right, and but, that's but, the lesson that I hope my kids got from yesterday. And that's what I think the majority of the Americans want to talk about on the 4th of July. I, th I think you're absolutely right. The majority of us love our country. We understand that there were bad things that happened. We also understand that millions of good Americans died in the Civil War trying to right some of those wrongs. Of course, that's very rarely mentioned on uh, the far-left precincts. By the way,